now we will design the bottom bracket in a similar fashion for the for connecting the post to the hydraulic cylinder bottom end so go to the top component new component try the pot end bracket and then we will do the similar way of making the bracket by sketching on this plane again use the origin for making a plane which is offset by 50 so inside this just go to the origin and offset this plane by 50 mm 50 mm hide the origin to show the plane and now sketch on this plane to make the bracket profile so we'll start off by creating a rough uh, profile something like this idea again over here is to make two surfaces on either side of the post and then connect them with a, a connecting bridge that would make the bracket so this is one uh, one one surface and let us just uh, constrain this profile with respect to the hori uh, the hydraulic cylinder uh, dimensions first let us just remove these constraints which we don't need just press on these constraints which have been applied automatically to remove them look at go to the sketch click on them and remove remove this projected geometry as well now make this line horizontal now make this line parallel to this line for that we need to project an element from the hydraulic cylinder component so for that select that element press p press ok make this line parallel to this line and then extend this a bit extend it downwards make sure this is vertical dimension this line with respect to the outer edge of the post let us keep it at 32 so this will be the overlap for the welding how much overlap of the bracket onto the post is going to be that is going to decide this dimension And then this height from this point is 50 and let us just stop sketch and we'll make the uh, surface go to patch select the profiles for making the surface and go press ok so this is one side and select the surface go to mirror and select the center plane make sure you are doing the pattern type as bodies because we want to mirror the bodies that is the body of the surface select the mirror plane as okay, before that select the body then select the mirror, mirror plane as the center plane press ok Next, we will bridge this uh, gap in between the two surfaces by using the loft command. Go to create, go to loft. First, select this edge and select, then select this edge to make the connection. Press OK. Another, go to, uh, to create another loft. Go to create, go to loft. Again, select this edge and this edge and press OK. then we will join all these surfaces by using the stitch command go to stitch select all the surfaces or inside these just select all of them and press ok so all have been stitched together into one single surface next 
fillet this let's give it a fillet of 50 and that is one problem over here as you can see over here if I give a fillet to this edge to this edge right here just hide this sketch if I give a fillet to this edge okay, why is this getting selected so it's going to ride on to this uh, area and the fillet is not going to come out to be a clean so we need to give a relief over here so for that I'll model a relief on this surface so go to this edge select this point make a vertical line give a relief over here or let's keep it straight and reduce the length of the bracket let's keep this as horizontal okay it's only perpendicular to this line so it's horizontal now the next thing we will do is to basically extend this line through and through extrude it on either side two sides extrude it through and through such that it crosses both these two this surface as well as this surface so that you can trim them in one operation because now they are they are a single surface press ok go to modify go to trim use this tool trim off this face trim off this face make sure you are selecting the correct face by uh, left click holding and selecting the face which you need and not one which you don't want to and press ok and hide the trim tool body and now we can go ahead and give the fillet for this edge give a fillet over here let us give it a 10 on either side and press ok we can actually make this uh, relief aligning with the surface of this post so that we can weld this bracket over here also for that what we will be doing is again we will go to the sketch and we will make sure that we are dimensioning it at end or we will go to the main sketch that is this sketch right here and bring this towards over here and then stop sketch so you can see over here the gap is closed again just make sure this point lies on this edge stop sketch yeah now you can see now it is flush with the uh, surface of the post which means we can weld the bottom face of the bracket as well now we will go on to create the thicken select the bracket make sure the thickening outside give a thickness of 5 mm that will make sure that the bracket is strong and press ok let's finish the design up by giving the fillets in other areas which are having the sharp edges select fillet select these edges give a fillet of 50 press ok again fillet these edges the other side Keep it at 10. So, this is the final bracket for the bottom mounting of the hydraulic cylinder. So, it will be welded over here. 
will be welded over here and will be welded over here. Just make sure that the bracket is highly rigid and can sustain the loads which are coming from the hydraulic cylinder. 